<laughs> anyway, um, so we're talking about conjugate acids and bases. I love how you change your voice. I know. Isn't it funny? Anyway, um, so so if you look here, you've got you got HF, you got NaOH, you got H2O, NaF. Now, this is a really simplified version of, of the way this really works, but just to give you the idea, so is HF an acid or a base? What do you think? What, does anybody know what the name of it is? Correct, hydrofluoric acid. So this is an acid. I know that for uh, several reasons. One, it does not have OH in it. It has an H in front. <coughs> and what that's going to do, let me write this down up here for you. It's a definition. Uh, I know this is an acid because acids will donate <coughs> a proton in the reaction. And by that, I mean H+. Plus. So what I mean by that is you have HF here, and if you look, you see how on the, the product side that this H was given off, the H is no longer there, it's been replaced by F, or uh, by sodium. So what I mean by this is that literally the acid donated, it gave away its proton to something else. In this case, it was NaOH, right? It accepted, it accepted the proton. So bases accept protons. And again, we mean H plus. So obviously, what's NaOH then? It's a base. You know that because it's accepting the proton and it's got OH in it, it's sodium hydroxide. Now, the second part of this, and this is where this is the new part here. Reactions also go in the reverse direction. And we're going to be looking at the products now and identifying what, it is, what is an acid and what is a base. So to give you an idea here, think about it like this. Pretend that we were doing this, that we were literally writing a reaction where we're going that way now. Like, really, that's the way you need to view this. Like, we're literally going in the reverse direction. It's just like any other normal chemical reaction. A um, couple things here, though, where, where you have to <coughs> identify this stuff. Is there, do either one of these stand out, obviously, as an acid or a base in the products? And I'm just curious, do, do they to you? To me, they wouldn't, especially I know what you know, and you, they shouldn't. Um, so let me give you some hints. First, there's a vocabulary word that you need to write down, and that is this. Uh, amphoteric. Water is amphoteric. And here's what that means. It can act as an acid or a base. So it's neutral. Yeah, pure water is neutral. But what I'm saying is that when it's in a reaction, like if it, if it needs to be a base because there's an acid present, it'll be a base. If it needs to be an, an acid because there's a base present, it'll be an acid. It can be, it can be either thing because it has the ability to accept or lose a proton. It can become H3O or it can become OH. It's, Wait, it's how do you know if you donate or accept a proton? Well, if you look here, like we're talking about acid-base reactions here, so a proton's being <coughs> given off or and accepted no matter what. And if you look at H2O and NaF, which is the only thing that even has a proton to donate? Which is it? H2O. H2O. It's the only thing that even has a, a hydrogen to give off. Uh, so what you would say here, this is what we call the conjugate acid. So conjugate implies that it is in the product side, basically. It has to be on side. Yes, the conjugates are always on the product side. Now, if you think about this, what would you pair H2O with? What was H2O before the reaction took place? Which of these two things was H2O more, you know, more likely? Yeah, NaOH. So this would be a pair right here. The conjugate acid base pair. And that's a big thing you're gonna have to <coughs> identify is what what pairs together. Does a conjugate acid always go with the base? Yes. Okay. And then and, and what I mean by that is you can see how this OH, we kind of ignore the sodium because in in the net ionic equations that we would be dealing with for this there would be no sodium in the, you know, really, in the grand scheme of things. So we look at the OH. So we can just... Because, like, 
if you think about it going this way now, looking at it as a reverse, which one of these two things could act like an acid where it donates a proton? H2 is the only thing because it's the only thing that even has a proton to give off. That's why you know it's the conjugate acid. What? So we can just look at like a conjugate acid and basically compare. Yes. Son, does that make sense? It's okay to say no. What? What? What about it's confusing? Me? Don't worry about the video. I just don't think it's okay. Well, let me explain the base then. See if it. Wait. So is there like a conjugate base too? Yes. So now NaF. It was HF which donated a proton, but now, in the reverse direction, it's going to accept a proton because, well, that's the only thing it can do. It can't give one off, so that becomes the conjugate base. And then you would pair the conjugate base with the acid. So that's a pair, then. Once I show you an example on your worksheet, this will help. So, let me do an example on you. That's it, right there. You're pairing, you're figuring out in an acid base reaction, you know, after in the products, what is the conjugate? Like, yeah, basically, what's the pair there? What what happened to what? Like, what did the acid become? What did the base become? Basically? Is it always going to be like the acid and base no. is on the left? No. Well, the acid and base will always be on the left, but it won't always be acid base. It might be base acid. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Yes, for, for here, for this stuff, this, yes. So, uh, all right, let me do like one example off this worksheet or two and then you can work on it and I'll stop with the video. So, if you look at the very first one, you've got HClO4 and H2O. Your job is to identify what is the acid, what is the base, what is the <coughs> conjugate acid, what is the conjugate base, and what are the pairs. Exactly what I just did. Now, always figure out H2O second, because H2O will be an acid or a base depending on what else you have. So HClO4, it's an acid, right? It has H in front, it's going to donate a proton. You can even tell if you look in the products you can see that it literally lost its proton, so it, so it obviously was an acid. That then makes water what, automatically? A base. So there can only be one acid and one base? Yes. And every single side? For, for here, yeah. For this, yes. I mean, in reality, yeah, you can have multiple acids take a re you know, go in a reaction. But. Um, and then on the right side here, this H3O, what was it before? It, it was water, right? And and what happened to it? Did it accept a proton or, or lose it? It accepted one, so now, if we're going to go the other way, what would it do? Would it donate or accept? Think about it. If it's going to go backwards, it's going to turn back into water because it's going to get rid of its proton. So that becomes the conjugate acid because it now has a proton to give away. So like, if you literally flip the equation around and you think about it going the other way, it can give off its proton now. Wait, but wouldn't it be the conjugate base since it's accepting the other proton? Well, see, you, the see and you have to think of it before, like before the reaction would take place. So here, this was the acid because before the reaction takes place, it's going to donate the proton. But then here, if you're going the other way, before this reaction goes this way, it's got a proton to donate. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's like in the in the reaction this way, yes, it is, it is accepting and acting as a base. But in the reaction the other Why way, because they that's how reactions. Like, so one way you go. Forward, yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah. The other side you go backwards. Yeah, honestly, yeah. All right, so like the second side of the arrows we move like right to left. And yes, yes, yeah. Most of the time, but not every time. There are exceptions because. Uh, let me get into that in a minute. Um, so then what does ClO4 become, obviously? Conjugate base, because it now has a spot to accept the hydrogen. So then you just pair your stuff up. Obviously, you can see H2O, H3O go together, and uh, these two go together. I mean, the pair, that's it. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I'll do it. Do you know what you really have to draw those arrows? 
<coughs> like their forward reverse one. If it has no like, does that mean it's like yeah, you gotta con you gotta yeah, identify the pairs. You know that, like you know what goes together. Okay, just do it anyway. If what? If it has plus one, does that does that always mean that it's a conjugated decimal? Like mm. Not all. 